So uh, after we identified the, these three factors required for apoptotic uh, ca activation of CASP3, um, so uh, after again uh, many years of work, now we can summarize these uh, reactions into this particular pathway. We call it uh, apoptotic, uh, ap uh, mitochondrial apoptotic pathway, or also called uh, intrinsic um, apoptotic pathway. And the reason why we call them intrinsic uh, versus extrinsic will become clear in the uh, in in later part of my talk. So we know that apoptotic stimuli now, uh, such as uh, radiation by UV light, um, will exert the, this, their effects on mitochondria. And the signal is uh, interpreted by the BCL2 uh, family of proteins. The BCL2 family of protein regulate uh, apoptotic response uh, by mitochondria. As a result, the proteins such as cytochrome C that normally localize in the inter intermembrane space of mitochondria will come out of the mitochondria and find this bonding partner APAF1. And APAF1 has a, 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 a good affinity for cytochrome C. So when the cytochrome C come out of the, uh, to the cytosol, they will meet APAF1. They will specifically bound APAF1 at the, the WD40 repeat region. And in the presence of a nucleotide, um, a preferably deoxynucleotide, DATP, and this cytochrome C and APAF1 will form this large heptamer protein complex. Now we call it apoptosome. The car domain of APAF1, before it meets cytochrome C, before it's formed this apoptosome is folded in and not accessible. So after the formation of apoptosome, um, which is like this uh, wind wheel-like structure, um, the, the car domains form the central ring of this wheel-like structure. And the car domain now become exposed, and they are able to recruit the, through the card card interaction of Procaspase 9. And once Procaspase 9 get recruited to apoptosome, they undergo this auto-activation process, the, the molecular detail we still do not understand. And, but as a result, the Caspase 9 APAF1 cytochrome C complex now have this enzymatic activity that able to cleave the Caspase 3 and the 7 precursor and results in its activation, which subsequently cleave many important substrates such as DFF45 or ACAT, leading to the characteristic changes associated with apoptosis. I also want to point out uh, that some of the deoxynucleotide analogs, such as 2CDA, uh, also called clodropine, uh, another one called uh, flodropine, these nucleotide analogs are actually uh, uh, a clinically used uh, drugs that uh, uh, for treat uh, leukemia. Um, and these nucleotides uh, can substitute uh, DATP to drive the formation of apoptosome. And in certain cases, for example, fraudropine is even better than deoxy ATP to cause apoptosome.